what is up everyone welcome back to the channel and today is an exciting day wait for it at the end though uh we do have a brand new animal crossing update so i mean it was heavily rumored heavily speculated that we were going to get at least a firework update and nintendo said yeah we'll give you a firework update and not much else okay so this is going to be for the 1.11 update uh, this was just announced this morning. We're going to dive into it. There's a little bit more to see over on the Nintendo Japan channel, uh, the, the Nintendo Japan website. And uh, let me just start off by saying this is probably not the update that you want. Uh, but we'll talk about what this could lead up to later. It's pretty exciting. But uh, so let's just look at all of the receipts. OK, all, all of the all of the facts. And then we'll talk about speculation at the end. So this is Nintendo of America's official Twitter. Uh, they say a free update for Animal Crossing New Horizons arrives on July 29th. Please ensure you have updated your latest version to enjoy the upcoming weekly fireworks show and new seasonal items. Um, they go on with another tweet, but like nothing, nothing crazy, right? Nothing new so far. This is just the picture that they posted. I didn't even like it. Okay. Ha ha, Nintendo. Uh, no. Uh, okay, they do another one. Uh, in addition to these updates, more free content for Animal Crossing New Horizons is currently in development for later this year. More information will be shared in the future, so please stay tuned. Thank you for your support and patience. So, okay, Nintendo... This is all seeming fishy, okay? they First of all, they released this, what I just read. They don't give any details, really. Um, and then they put this follow-up tweet, which is saying, guys, please be patient. We have something for you. Uh, and I really do think that that does mean something at least more substantial than we're, what we're about to see. So I, I'm, I, I mean, I am trying to stay positive, but at the same time, Doug Bowser has said things and now Nintendo of America has tweeted out, we have more to come. So that's at least promising and exciting. Now we go over to the Nintendo Japan website uh, to actually, you know, show off some new items and things like that. So I had said before that I do think that they were going to uh, update the firework event, give us new items. And then, you know, that was it. I was like, maybe they'll give us something extra, but it, it just seems that they are updating. Uh, this is year two fireworks. So not a ton. We'll go over everything. And uh, I mean, some of these items are cute. It's not what we want entirely. Uh, but here's the little graphic. I uh, I translated it because I'm using Chrome. Um, introducing seasonal events held on the island of Animal Crossing New Year's Forest. It's all going to be weird because it's translated. Free update is July 29th. Further update plans are underway within 2021. So even Nintendo Japan is saying, guys, please, we got something. Um, okay. So let's go down here. Uh, it's finally summer. Those who live on the islands of the Northern Hemisphere will be working on worm picking and fish fishing. And those in the Southern Hemisphere may be working on making snowmen. As such, Animal Crossing, you can continue to enjoy seasonal events after the free update delivered. Uh, it is 1.11 uh, on Thursday, July 29th. Uh, whether you have experienced last year's event or not, or are new to this year, please join us. Please also refer, refer to the notes at the end of the article so you can enjoy the event smoothly. So again, we're going to see that they give us another timeline of events, which is actually helpful for someone like me because then I can, you know, let you guys know when the next update will be. So, okay. The seasonal event firework display August, uh, every Sunday in August. So if you're new to this game, every Sunday in August, you're going to go to your plaza and it's going to look something like this. Okay. You're going to enjoy fire. There's going to be fireworks going off from 6 p.m. to, I believe, midnight. And uh, it's really fun. It's really memorable uh, for the summertime. So you're going to go to your plaza in the summer. Red is going to be there greeting you. And uh, you can use his raffle, which unlocks prizes. So the plaza in front of the information center is likely to be lively with residents who came to see the fireworks this year. Um, it seems that the lottery prizes will be added to the stall. Okay. So again, red right here, he runs this firework stall and, uh, you can, you know, it's basically a lottery. You pay a certain amount of bells and you get these little hand prizes. So they added three this year and we're going to take a look at them here. So the first one being cotton candy. Okay. So 
this is what we were all talking about. When I, when I was making the, the firework prediction, I'm like, yeah, they're probably going to add in some new holdable items. I didn't know what those holdable items were. So the first one here is going to be cotton candy. Okay. It is very cute. For what it's worth, this isn't, this is probably, you know, going to get you back into the game for maybe one of the firework events just to collect the items, but this isn't anything major, right? It's cotton candy. It looks cute at least. Um, the next one being a popsicle. This is really cute. I like this a lot. So, you know, our, our villagers are always walking around with popsicles. I'm interested to see if, if this is going to be the only color you see this blue color here. I'm wondering if there's going to be other variants of popsicles. <laughs> Nintendo, give me something. <laughs> Your boy's starving, okay? Your boy is starving. But yeah, th that's the popsicle that you're going to get. Maybe there's other variants. And then the last thing, what do they call this? Oh, a tapioca drink. Oh, you're literally going to get a boba drink. That's kind of cool. I actually like that. I didn't know what it was at first when I saw it. Uh, so yeah, it seems to be like they're all food items too, which is very, very interesting. So you're going to get this tapioca drink, you're going to get the popsicle, and you're going to get the cotton candy. Uh, you may want to draw lots with your friends to create a festive atmosphere, Nintendo. Don't tell me how to have fun, okay? Uh, okay, oh yeah, so okay. So this picture is evident that there are color variants of cotton candy. Why am I getting excited about color variants of freaking cotton candy, but that, that's what we are, are amounted to. Um, so we have white, pink, blue. It looks fun. I mean, it, the, uh, the year one items are back. The head bobbers, uh, the sparklers, the poppers. I don't even, I don't even remember the items here, but I mean, we do have three new food items. Okay. That's like the main thing here. And then they go over the firework event. Again, if you're new to this game, you're going to have a lot of fun with this event, I feel. But, you know, for, for players who played this event already, it's kind of like, I'll go, I'll go to the first one. If I'm being honest, I might catch the last one. But, um, yeah, you can basically upload your custom designs and shoot off custom fireworks. It's really cool. I Like, I'm, I'm kind of downplaying this. The event is really cool. And it, it happens four times, too, which is cool. Um, okay. Next, we have some seasonal items, and one of them makes me want to throw my computer out the window, okay? Uh, items related to various seasonal events will also be in stock at Nook Shopping, okay? So this is the first one. Uh, that's an eggplant, and that's a pickle with legs. What is going, what is going on with the world, okay? First, you have the cheese rolling event. What is this? Eggplant day? What is this? Oban is said to be the day when ancestors return. Did I just insult people? After this time, cucumber horse and eggplant cow will be lined up at Tanuki Shopping from August 10th to August 16th. These are considered to be vehicles for ancestors to go back and forth between this world and the other worlds. When they come, they come early with cucumber horse. And when they return, they slowly return with eggplant cow. Is this a joke? Nintendo, what are you doing to me? Hey kids, get in the eggplant car. Dad, can we take the pickle mobile? Uh, guys, okay. These two items uh, are S tier. You need to collect these. Apparently, ancestors like driving them. I, I don't know what... Cucumber horse and eggplant cow. Okay, so these are two uh, seasonal items. All right, next up, uh, more food items. Jeez, we got we got food we can eat. We got food we can put sticks in. Um, okay, the Mid-Autumn Festival. Chusak? Chusik? I don't know what that is. Uh, September 12th to the 21st. The Mid-Autumn Moon. Oh, look at the Moon Festival. Perfect for viewing the moon, which is an autumn tradition. will be lined up at the Nook Shopping. Why don't you create a moon viewing mood together? With Suki Norag, Norag, during the same, I don't know what I'm saying, guys, uh, and Mooncake. So we have two new food items. Now listen, I probably just butchered that. Oh, there seems to be something in the back, too, that I'm noticing, this, this thing in the back. So it looks like, to me, that there are three new food items 
with the uh, in Nook shopping. So this is, of course, more seasonal events. So you got your cucumber, you got your eggplant cars, and then you got your, uh, you know, it looks like desserts for Moon Festival. Also, this Moon Rug is something that was in year one. So, you know, I'm always in favor of new food items. So that's pretty good. Um, okay, let's continue on. And okay, here we go. So this is the last, you know, important thing that we have. And Nintendo Japan has been doing this. Nintendo of America really isn't doing this, but they're giving us a schedule of events. Now, this actually coincides with future updates, okay? So we have the the Women's Day events. That's August 5th to the 14th. Then we have the Cucumber Horse and Eggplant Cow. Put that on your calendars, everyone. August 10th to August 16th, so you'll be able to get those two. Uh, the Grape Festival, Grape Harvest Festival, September 1st to the 30th. Uh, moon Viewing, you get the rug uh, and the other, I believe those are the cakes, September 12th to September 21st. And then this other food item, September 12th to September 21st. So, judging by this schedule, and Nintendo Japan has done this before. Nintendo of America really doesn't do this, but this is good and bad news, okay? Okay. So, Nintendo has stated that they are working on more and more updates and to be patient. Doug Bowser came out, said his piece. This ranges from August 5th to September 30th. So, I think the next update or blog post, I doubt it's trailer time, but I think the next blog post is going to be the end of September, which would then give us new Halloween items and possibly cover... Turkey Day, but I think it's just going to be Halloween items. So, this is what we have until September. So, enjoy your cucumber horse and eggplant cow. I can't believe this is happening to my favorite game ever. Okay, so, yeah. Free update starting July 29th. Uh, if the roadmap is correct, we won't see another update until September. To me, this is a major bummer. And, you know, the only silver lining about this whole thing is that Nintendo has said... Please stay tuned. Please be patient. I think something bigger is coming, but that might be just the positivity coming out. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Get hyped for Cucumber Horse. An egg, eggplant cow. 